Shall we begin? these look like they are crispy little shreds of or chips of coconut and they just have like a light cocoa on them that's kind of cool looking never seen these before would you like to try one actually they're pretty good yeah they have a nice coconut taste with a little bit of chocolate. That's good. I like it. Oh, you know what? They taste like the messy cookies. Yeah, they do. They taste exactly like those chocolate haystack cookies with the oatmeal and coconut. Oh my God, those are so good. Anyways, there you have it. If you ever see these, grab them up. They are delicious. scary this is. 
I'm really nervous. I'm really, really hoping it's not very oh, crazy oh. busy. <laughs> and yep, this could take a while. Oh, crap on a cracker. Hey guys. Okay, so we just got out of Costco. <laughs> there we go. That's better. We just got out of Costco and Jeremy's theory was very wrong. Apparently it's day everybody wanted to go shopping. We had to wait in line. It's good. They're taking super um, care of the place and keeping it very organized. The employees are doing an amazing job of keeping everybody social distancing safely. Um, we were careful. We were in there for what, like an hour and a half? Probably about an hour and a half, but we also had to buy like two huge carts full of stuff for work. And that'll hold us over for quite a while. Um, so all in all, a good experience. Um, we're gonna, since we're in the GTA anyways, we're gonna take, I'm gonna drop off a little gift for uh, two very special men that we are good friends with. I'm gonna leave a little uh, gift on their doorstep and then we're gonna take a quick drive downtown Toronto and just see what it looks like right now before we head home. Um, so I'll take a little video of that so you can see what's going on in the TO. Um, other than that, we'll talk soon. seven on a Saturday night and this is downtown Toronto. This is insane. Um, there are still people out. Um, it looks like everyone is social distancing like they should. But the streets are so quiet right now. And if you've ever been to downtown Toronto on a Saturday night, this is not the way it normally looks. So interesting to see what lays ahead for us. All right, so now I got all the stuff inside. There's all the dry stuff that we got. Okay, so I have to get all this stuff into this already pretty full fridge. We currently have our walk-in fridge and freezer shut down just because we're not that busy because of the pandemic. So we're just using this small bar fridge. All right, after playing Tetris with a bunch of the food and everything, I managed to get everything in there. It's a lot easier putting it into the walk-in fridge, but you do what you gotta do. Well, I'm closing up and gonna call her a night. Have a good night, everybody. like another rainy crummy day actually the rains just stopped but we got a ton of water I don't think we're supposed to get anything again until next week so I don't know about you but I am all about watching videos on grocery hauls don't know why I'm obsessed with it I think I like seeing new products and different things like that um and seeing what other people buy so anyways there are some clips um we went to Toronto this week no on the weekend, sorry. We went to Toronto on Sunday? Saturday, Saturday. And we go to Scarborough to a business center Costco. Um, we pick up a lot of stuff for work here. So we go down like once every three weeks usually. This is the first time we've been there in, well, since this whole thing started. And this is the first store I've actually been in since this whole thing started. It was done really well. They're really good there. Um, but I thought I'd show you what we buy from there and what we, uh, what we got. So my new caffeine is Red Bull. 
I know it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but I don't drink coffee anymore. I haven't been able to drink coffee since my last pregnancy. I always gave up coffee when I uh, got pregnant because it made me nauseous actually. And I haven't been able to start drinking again, drinking it again. And I don't like the cold brew coffee. So Red Bull is my morning wake me up. Um, we also got these aluminum baking pans, $4.99 each. And they are fabulous. I have a ton of them. I usually, every time I go down, I pick up, I pick these up for somebody else, but I usually pick up a couple of them and they have three sizes, $4.99, $6.49 for medium size. And then only $6.99 for the commercial size. So these are great. Um, uh, just some food service, uh, cloths. And then we got a hose, a really nice strong hose we need for here for my garden. Um, some aluminum disposable pans, we use that here at work. Garbage bags are super cheap there too. Um, great deal on those. So we always buy a couple for here or a couple for work and a couple for home. Um, giant size dish soap. And then this grill cleaner, um, degreaser. It works on more than just like the grill here. We bring it home too and use it to degrease certain things. Um, it works phenomenal. Don't get it on your hands, but it works really, really well. I always buy, because I have a hard time finding the 12 inch flour tortillas, which I like to make like really nice wraps. Um, and they have them there. So they come in packs of 30 and they're way cheaper there. Um, we got three bags of flour. They had tons of flour, uh, $13 and 49 cents for 20 kilograms. Um, olive oil. I've been using a ton of olive oil lately. So I got, I like it in the tin. I don't know why, just the glass. I just like it in the tin. Um, gravy mix. It's a really good brand. Um, I got these for another project I'm doing. It's just some steak strips. Kirkland brand like beef jerky. Um, more gravy mix. If you've never tried Krusty's pancake mix, it's just add water, but they are so good. Huge difference from any other brand I've ever tried. And relative, like this huge bag. Oh, how much is it? Oh, I can't see, but it's huge. Anyways, like eight bucks. Um, Parmesan cheese, I always find cheaper there. More gravy mix. Uh, tape, scotch tape. Kosher salt, this is my favorite. Some gum, that's for home. And then I got some different whole tomatoes this time because I've been making my own marinara, but I wanted to diff try a different brand. Um, so these are whole plum tomatoes. So I'm going to try that and see if I like it. Uh, Cornstarch. Batteries. We go through a ton of batteries with the kids. So I always get, we usually switch between getting AAA one time and AA the next time. I got some black aprons. It was 20 bucks for a five pack of really nice black aprons. I wanted them for home for my videos. Uh, Scrubbies. This uh, brand of breadcrumb I love. Uh, it's really good. It, these ones are Italian style. You can't get them plain. Um, some lids for those foil pans. I bought a big thing of pepperoncini peppers. Um, I want to try making a Mississippi roast and that's one of the main ingredients for it and we like them in salads and stuff like that. These are for home and these are one of my favorite go-to snacks is peanut butter filled pretzels. Uh, some Lowry seasoning salts. I got some pizza sauce that I want to taste and see what it's like. So I'm gonna play around with that. Saran wrap, aluminum foil, some big package of green scrubbies. I usually cut them in half so I'll get double the amount of these. Um, some Tupperware containers, to-go containers. There's the rest of the flour. So that's it for the dry goods here. I still have a few things at home and then a few things in the fridge that I'll show you. Okay, here is continuation of our ginormous grocery haul. Um, I picked up 
some garlic bread to have in the freezer. Landon loves this stuff, so that's always a go-to when he's hungry and is being picky. Um, got some uh, mixed bag uh, veggie chips. These ones have the ranch. And again, that's another one that my son really likes. We got a case of AHA, the lime and watermelon. Sparkling water has become a really big thing in our family for some reason. Everybody likes it except for me. And then we got a case of the bubbly, which has the strawberry, grapefruit, and lime. And then we got a case of the Kirkland sparkling water. This one has more flavor, so this one I don't mind as much. Um, and it has the a black raspberry, the orange mango, and strawberry kiwi. And, oh, and feminine products because we have a house full of girls. So that's all the stuff that we brought home and then I will do the fridge haul in a minute. Okay, here is the final. Um, this is the last of the haul that we did and I'll show you what we got. I picked some stuff up for some other people too, so. We got, I got 10 blocks of butter. For a pound of unsalted butter, it was $4.25. A uh, block of a medium cheddar cheese, and this one came to $30.69. And that is for 2.67 kilograms. Okay, um, I bought Philadelphia cream cheese, three kilogram buckets on for $19.99, which is an amazing deal. They're regular $29.99, but um, this Costco has amazing sales sometimes. So got four of those. Uh, got a case of chicken breasts, which are all bagged. Um, you get five big bags of fresh chicken breasts, which uh, that's a really good deal. I forget how much we paid for those, but they are definitely well worth the price. Um, let's see, and over here you can't really see it because I have stuff packed in here. Um, but I did get a really nice outside flat um, roast and it was $118, but it's huge. You can't really tell from the picture here, but it is one giant uh, roast that I'm gonna cut up into a couple uh, different size roasts. And last but not least, always get the shredded cheese. So we got some uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar, we got some mozzarella, and then we got some just plain cheddar at the back there. So that I do believe, some, oh, sour cream. I got a four liter pail of sour cream that's hidden back there. And yeah, I think that pretty much, oh, got a couple, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't show you because it's locked right now, but I did get, also get two cases a, of chicken fingers um, and they are at a pretty good price and also a case of chicken burgers and a case of Debrenzini sausage. So that pretty much wraps up the haul and you'll be seeing this later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe share. Um, if you're not interested in grocery hauls, this is not the video for you. It's just something I like and I'm not sure why I'm talking and you're staring at nothing. Um, because I can't switch my camera around, but we'll figure that out. We're getting there. Anyways, have a fantastic day. The sun is shining and enjoy.